morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Septiguy and welcome to Doom Eternal! I am so excited to play this game. Uh, I got to play a little bit of it a while back, I did a video on it, I got to play a few hours of the game and just mess around and see what the enemies were and see how the game played and see how it improved over Doom 2016 and I have been super excited for this game ever since then. I can't get it out of my head, I couldn't stop thinking about playing it and now it's finally out and I'm very, very excited. Thank you to uh, the Doom team and Bethesda for sending me a code early for the game so I can actually play it ahead of the launch window so I can get content out for you guys immediately when it launches but I am ready to RIP AND TEAR Hey, I have coffee. I'm ready to go. I'm fueled up. Against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce. We will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. <laughs> oh baby! So good. Fuck yeah. We must pray now. Pray. Pray that he is watching. Please, anyone, if you can hear me, if you're out there. Oh, don't worry, Doomslayer's ready, baby. Attempting to acquire the Hell Priest signal. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. Oh, the music's gonna be the best part of this whole fucking we have game. The Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man. So badass. Oh, hell yeah, do it to him. Yeah! Oh man, I am fully erect and ready to eject. This is gonna be fucking awesome. Let me at him. Let me at him. Let me fuck him up. Let me fuck him up. Not today, baby! Not today, baby! Thank you! Thank you very much. I might have to change my, my sensitivity a bit. This feels a little high. Can I go? Let me through. I know how to glory kill, baby. I'm a fucking gamer! Oh, this game feels so good already. So, thankfully, I've played some of the game already. I, I did play this section before, so I know I know how it operates. I love that the chainsaw is just a button now, that you don't actually have to take out the chainsaw and then use it. Such a good addition, it keeps the gameplay flowing. God, yes. So I played Doom 2016, but I never finished it. I... I don't know, some stuff was going on at the same time and I just didn't have time to finish it. I got pretty far, I got more than halfway through the game, but I just did not finish it. Um... But I absolutely loved it. It was so good. The music, the gameplay, what I played of this is such- It's night and day better than what Doom 2016 was. And Doom 2016 was already amazing. Okay, I'm going for my sticky bombs! Cause I gotta. I'm Jackaboy. Gotta get my sticky bombs. 
Give me that fucking thing. Alright. I know how to use these. We're good. We Gucci. Are we going this way? No, I'm not. <laughs> we Gucci! I have no idea what I'm doing. Whoa! Oh, mama! Oh, baby! What's up? What's up? Oh, my sensitivity is way too high. <laughs> Who wants to go, huh? You both want to go? Oh! Oh! Love it! Love it! Give me that arm, bitch! This is all this playthrough is going to be. It's just me yelling profanities at enemies. And I am... <laughs> here for it! Ooh, dirty dog! Doomslayer, you nasty, bruh! So fucking fun! So, I talked about this in the preview video I did of this. That depending on where you look at the enemy, we'll do like different animations. Okay, whatever. You guys get one of these. Like if you're at the back of an enemy, ready to do a kill, you'll do a different animation. If you look at their feet, you'll do a different one. If you look at their th penis, you'll do a different one. Oh no, no PG content here today. This is all full tilt with this game. This is the game that the algorithm hates. <laughs> all right, give me a sec while I, I just adjust my uh, sensitivity. Ooh, what's this? Codex entry. Atop mighty thralls, the Hell Priests oversaw the invasion of the mortal world. The thrall slave titan of the underworld carried the priest temples into the wake of battle, providing the priests with vigil of Hell's advance from a strategically impervious emplacement. From their temple perch, the priests would emanate a powerful psionic influence, imposing greater coordination among the chaotic forces of Hell. And increasing their battle effectiveness, the thrall possessing superior resilience proved indestructible by conventional... How do I move this? Oh wait, I have to move, look at this. Okay. Uh, the thrall possessing superior resilience proved indestructible by conventional weapons, thwarting all attempts by arc defensive forces. Only by severing the priest's psychokinetic tether could the titan be neutralized, an act that could only be accomplished by an infiltration of the temple itself. Badass! Oh cool, look at my map. Um, so they come in on giants. That's pretty cool! What's up? My soul remains guarded. You can Does it? Oh, I turned him into jam. I'll take that. Don't lose your king or don't lose your crown, king. God, yes! Fuck him up! <laughs> the demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two hell priests remaining. Oh, he's far away. What's up, dudes? Can I? From here? No, they don't care. That is awesome. I. If any of you have watched my content for any length of time, you know how much I love giant monsters and scale in video games, and this really sells it. Like, the environments alone are so much better than what Doom 2016 had. Also, I hate that it's just called Doom 2016, that they just called it Doom again. I almost fell off. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> um... But even though I didn't finish the game, I still have huge respect for Doom 2016. For it reinvigorating this type of game, this just run and gun type of gameplay. Right, we got a new one. Uh, the Cacodemon. Hunters of the Slothlands? 
The cacodemon lurks the bottomless and murky depths of hell in search of easy prey. An aimless wanderer, the cacodemon is mostly devoid of cognitive ability, sensory awareness, and otherwise commonly occurring impulses. Driven only by a singular desire to feed, the cacodemon is likely to appear wherever there is flesh to be consumed, bringing with it an insatiable propensity for hunger. God, the writing is so good. <laughs> It is said that the Cacodemon bears some resemblance to the Cycloptic Titans of ancient hell lore, leading sentinel scholars to believe that the forgotten titans may yet live on in some embodied form. Yeah, so the Cacodemons are those little floaty boys that I was shooting at. And then you can, uh, shove a grenade down their mouth. Uh, pro tips, at the long range options of the shotgun. I don't want full auto. Should I just upgrade this? Wait, can I? No. You gotta do that. Okay, got it. I mean, full auto is pretty good as well. I just don't really care. Okay, now I'm on. Let me. These are my explody boys, and this is full auto. Okay, got it. I'm trying to look at the the icons in the bottom so I know which one I have equipped. Ooh, nice. Uh, ooh, that's good. What's up, boys? Huzzah! Oh god, I fell. <laughs> Whoops. Aw oh, man, can I go back up? Did I miss anything? Probably not. Oh, baby. How do you like them apples? What's up? I like, I like how, like, Doom 2016 controlled really well. It was very fast paced, it was very fluid. But this one just takes it another step further. This one, it feels like playing Old Quake. If any of you played Old Quake. Hey! The Arachnatron! You can shoot his gun on the back. I have listened to the soundtrack to Doom 2016. Probably more than any other video game soundtrack. Because it sounds fucking incredible. Come here! Come here! Woohoo! Got him! Oops, did I run out of ammo? My bad. I need- I need some dinguses. Thanks, Wingus! Where's Dingus? There he is. <laughs> um, so yeah, any of you who- I mean, you might have seen my other video already. So, chainsaw means you get ammo back. Those other glory kills that I do means that you get health back. So this- this gives you health. So it's like a balancing act between both of those. Stick him full of bombs! Hey, what's up? <laughs> eat shit! Or eat your own stuff, really. So it's a, it's a constant balancing act between getting ammo and getting health, which just keeps the gameplay moving. Which is genius. What's up, fucker? Oh god. No fuel. I feel like my sensitivity is a little too high, but that's fine. We'll deal with it. Hey, machine gun! Uh, let me just search around and grab all the things. <laughs> oh, you dumbass. Alright, cool. Any armor lying around? That would be Trey Nice. Now. Come on, Doomslayer, climb! You're making us look bad! Oh, baby. Heavy cannon. I'm not too much of a fan of this. I don't use this that much. Some enemies are weaker to it than others, but, um... Hey, I got a map. But I... I just... I'm a sucker for shotguns in, in software games. I mean, it's the best thing. It's what id Software are known for. It's what they're best at. But we'll use it a little bit. Ding, ding, ding! Top of morning! Give me those itsy bitsy spiders! Give me them toes! Those are not your toes. Let's just say. The head are the, the knees of the torso. <laughs> Shoot that cannon off. He doesn't need that. He just need that. He's a stinky bitch. 
Oh, Mick Gordon, give me those genty tones. As a heavy metalhead myself, this music is just... Dare I say music to my ears? Shouldn't have done that. I should have. I should have finished him off. Give me ammo. Who's talking? About? I don't care, baby. I got fucking demons to kill and places to be, and I look good doing it at the same time. Oh. What's up, Cortana? Damn, she's thick though. I'm just walking through, lads. <laughs> it's awesome. You know this is bad. When you got pentagrams and demon symbology all over your walls, you know shit's wrong. Wait, I should go back up here just to see if there's anything to collect. I don't have my... I don't have my boost yet. I want my boost. My whooshy whoosh. Ooh, there's a question mark in there. How do I get that? Hi! Did you guys know we have a 50% off sale on your face? No? What about 100% off? There you go. Now you like it. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. Should I take the time to figure out how to get those? Maybe. Yellow access? What even is a yellow access? I like this machine gun when I get the the rocket upgrade for it. It's really badass then. Ooh. <laughs> Me and lava do not go together very well. Um, do I need the yellow axis to get into that? I want to keep things moving, but I also don't want to miss stuff. The Let's Player's Curse. Falling up there. I don't think I can get there yet. Behold the fruits of our labor. The fruit. Oh wait, hold on a little, a little second there, bio. Nice. Wait, that doesn't get me in. Huh. That does. Ah, oh, I found a little demon toy, a little imp. Hell yeah, that's good enough. Hold on here a minute, lads. Hold on here a minute, there's a bunch of secrets. Uh, Vega data entry. Although several hundred thousand were safely evacuated out of orbit in the mass exodus following the invasion, the expected odds of survival is considered unlikely. Too bad, you hate to see it. For many of these lifeboats carrying cryogenically frozen passengers, religious iconography and communes are now commonplace amongst survivors. I mean, yeah, if hell rises up and takes over the earth, then obviously religious communes are going to take over. With the collective perception of events taking on a biblical nature, many seek authority from a higher power to rationalize the sudden destruction of the world, believing these events represent a form of divine punishment. Yeah, that is how it goes. A one-up! I don't need yellow access to get in there. I got it all. Nice. All right, anything else to get? Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that big mech. What's up? Can I have you? You look cool. I don't know. Whoa! What's up, fuckers? What are you doing with my phone? Fuck you, that's why. Oh, baby. I've been practicing. I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends. <laughs> and a lot of uh, Call of Duty Warzone. I'm a fucking gamer. Look at that bad boy. Hell yeah. So he's carrying one of the Hell Priest things on his back. Stop! In the name of the Doom Slayer. God, he's fucking far away, lads. Uh, okay, yeah. That starts to get really fun. When they came to. When Bethesda came to my house with the game, for my own private enjoyment, they were talking about the, the traversal, because that was something that they really worked hard on to make sure that it felt fluid and it felt like it kept moving. And it really pays off. I'm excited for all of you to play this game. And if you can't play the game, hey! 
yellow key card. Wait, can I go back? Hold on there, a Jiminy Cricket, lads. So I don't want to miss anything. I want to make sure that we're getting the good let's play, you know. A bunch of guys fighting over here. Hold on, hold on. Break it up, effect. Oh, wait, I was supposed to come this way. <laughs> that was the way forward. Wait, now that I missed something over there. Ah, feck it, sure, it'll be grand. Woo! Woo! What's up? What's up? What's up? Ow! Have that! And these! And one of them! I keep forgetting to take ammo out of them. Hello! Oh, I've insufficient fuel. God damn it. Necessary step on the path to a brighter tomorrow. Shut up! Can I shoot her? I miss anything? Oh! Big Bertha! What's up? Oh, health. Well, I would like more health then, please. Yes, yes, yes! Healthy, healthy! A healthy Doom Slayer is a healthy mind. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Thank you for the toss torso. The tall soul. Thanks. You should take out this gun every now and then. Well, why would you when you have a shotgun? Look at this. It's like your mama's ass. What am I, fucking 14? Yes. Nice. I'm basically Predator at this point. I have a, a thing on my arm that comes out, a big spike, and now I have a, a rocket launcher on my shoulder. I am Predator. Stick that on there and we get some grenades going. Ah, yeah. So, you shove them in his mouth. Okay. Uh, wrong gun. <laughs> Do it again! Try it again! Do it again! That didn't work! That didn't work! Hold on! Hold on! Can you- can somebody- There you go! <laughs> Give me that eyeball! There's only allowed to be one septic man around here, okay? <gasps> Son of a bitch! <laughs> what did I just do? Oh, there's a pole there. Oh, I didn't see that. What's up? Everybody gets one. You get one. I basically call me the Oprah of Doom. <laughs> I'll take that head, thank you. You don't need it where you're going. Oh wait, we're already in hell. Nice! Nice! I love the sticky grenades. I love bouncing around and just firing them all over the place. Woo! See that flick? You don't deserve life! Dirty bastard! There's another one! Where is he? Where'd he go? Give me that cannon! Give me that cannon! I need more ammo! And I need more health! This'll do. Thank you. Woohoo! Another one? God damn it, they're everywhere! Jesus! <laughs> Back away, not today, disco lady. Oh, at home. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna take this now. Whee! Get rid of it. Get rid of it. You don't need it. You don't need it. Inky stinky. Blinky dinky. Ooh, that was a new one. I'm trying to see all of the kill animations. 
<laughs> oh, the little guys are so weak. They can't do anything against me. Okay, bye! Where to now, lads? I wanna get in one of those. Do you think they'll let me do that later in the game? I'll just be able to hop into one of them and fuck everything up? I hope so. The UAC would like to Shut thank up! you for your support during this transition. Your suffering continues to inspire <laughs> I'll take that! You don't need it. <laughs> oh, he just showed up. Take that. Take that. What the fuck? Where'd he go? Whoa, look at that. What's going on over there? Maybe let's head over and find out. Ooh, I want that health. Or that armor. Hoi! Swipe the wall. That is back into the exact same place. Where am I going? Oh, over here. Hoi! And go! Although, you're the fucking doomslayer. I'm pretty sure you can survive against a little bit of fire. Am I wrong? I don't think I am. Hoi! Noise. <laughs> I should be using you guys to like get ammo and stuff. But I really just love fucking them up. What's this one? Formation of the Ark. Following the total collapse of international civilization, nations and boundaries as we know them have ceased to exist. A handful of remaining bureaucrats, government officials, and military leaders have managed to survive by use of protective bunkers kept secret to the greater population. Convening under the flag of allied nations, this governing body represents all that remains of the rule of law, forming what would essentially become a single world government. Okay, not great. Military bases in communication with the AN have made efforts to regroup and centralize their areas of command, establishing fortified safe havens for survivors, stockpiling food and scavenging for supplies. This kind of sounds like what's happening in the world right now. Only proprietary military use of communications remain functional, enabling military entities under command of allied nations to coordinate in humanitarian aid and defense operations. By 2151, the formation of the ARC has taken highest priority and is considered to be, in all practical terms, the last hope for humanity. Hmm. Thank you, ARC. Don't you, don't you dare. The subject of greater scrutiny. For Ark scientists on Earth, these hell growth formations have appeared all over the planet, taking hold wherever hell has made its presence known, forming chaotic, seemingly random structural patterns. The propagation of hell growth has taken root at an alarming rate, exhibiting a cellular reproduction cycle that Ark scientists fear may become impossible to contain. The resultant environmental effect is extremely hostile to terrestrial life producing atmospheric biocontagions and a multitude of organic hazards. Wherever these nest-like formations emerge, they are protected by swathes of defensive tendrils, long thorn tentacles that demonstrate keen awareness of the surroundings, fully capable of disemboweling anything that it deems to be a potential threat to the nest. We well, didn't fucking last long, did you, bitch? Excuse me, I'm insulting this hole in the ground. Excellent. Oh, come this way, lads. Ha! Idiots. Come on. You you wanna go? You want you wanna go? Come on out! I'll fuck you up. Not today, bitch nips. Who else wants to go? He just showed up! <laughs> That's an easy way of killing them. They show up, you just shove a grenade down their mouth, and Bob's your auntie. Look at that. No one stands a chance against Jackaboy. Anything I'm missing? Some spring cleaning, hello. I want to get all of the secrets that you have lying about. It's just fun. What's going on in here? Aw, oh, you guys having a party and you didn't invite me? Fuckers. 
<laughs> ah, two for baby! Not really, but... Ooh. See? The eyeballs are the groin of the head. If you have a giant eyeball, you just make yourself easier to kill. Eat shit! Uh-oh. Ooh! Bouncy pad? Bouncy pad. Whee! This is what I mean by it's like old Quake. Because, like, all these bouncy pads and places that you can go and traversal and shit. It's awesome! Where'd he go? <laughs> there he is! Guys, it's okay, I found him! Take that! It's your own tentacle, so you, you should know how dangerous it is. Got him! Don't worry guys, if you have hell roaming around your household, just call 1-800-JACKABOY. I'll come over, I'll clean it right out. I will fuck shit up in the name of the good. <laughs> Ammo, please. Oh, I haven't used my grenades yet. It just gave me nades and I didn't even use them. Uh, I think that's everything in here. I want my boost. Give me me boost. Shut up. Have some grenades. Well, that didn't do anything, did it? He vanished! He's too scared! He knows what's up! Oh, grouped together just like that! Okay, low ammo. Come here. I need a sacrifice. Thank you! It's very nice of you to do that. Chewing through lads. Oh, the music. The music's kicking in. Which means it's time to kick some ass. I am just going to shoot you until you die. Have you ever tried that tactic before? Bet you haven't. Nice. So badass. Come over here. I want to mess you up. What do I do? Get aboard the Citadel. The con maker is nearby. Thank you. She is inside that demonic Citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. Okay. Should I, should I go through this? Thank you. Gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, so cool. Oh, that music's awesome. Hey Mick! Can you release the album on Spotify, like, as soon as the game comes out? That would be awesome. Fast travel. I don't need that yet. There's a... Codex thing down here that I want to get. Hell Priests. So... Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, I don't need to enter into it. I saw a, a making of the music for this game, and there's a lot of like heavy metal stuff going on in the background, but the Doom 2016 soundtrack didn't have much vocals in it. So for this one, he got together a bunch of heavy metal vocalists from a bunch of known bands, and got them into a heavy metal choir. 
I have never heard a heavy metal choir before that point, and it sounds so cool. I can't wait to hear it in the game. Powerful practitioners of arcane magics, the priests have warped their powers to suit their insidious purpose. Dirty bastards. Harnessing the dark forces of hellish psychomancy to prepare Earth for the final blood ritual. Stinky fuckers. By blood were the hell priests bound to the dark ritual which now consumed Earth. And so long as even one of them lives, the consumption of Earth would continue, allowing hell unfettered rule of the mortal world. Only by destroying the priests can the blood ritual be stopped. And Earth saved. RIP AND TEAR. I'll do it. I'll do it to save humanity. Don't call me a hero. This sounds very Nordic. Sounds like God of War. Give me that. Or don't. No, I'll just stick it in. Is present at this gathering, but when outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible. Oh. Is that is that bad for me? Sounds like it's probably bad for me. Fellas. No man can pass through the gate. <laughs> Have a head. This stops nothing. The sacrament of this world to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be restored once again, as it is written from the souls of the non believers. You will not save them from their judgment. <laughs> you want to bet? Assholes. I love that. Too far this time. You cannot interfere. This is humanity's chance to repent, to give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the Khan Maker. Activating the portal now. For it was you who was meant to enforce it. Huh. Okay. Con maker. I'm a I'ma mess them up later on. Also, I have the Doom helmet! Hold on. One sec. I'm very excited. <gasps> See? Should I play the entire game like this? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I can't see anything. <laughs> and it sounds amazing. But this came with the collector's edition of the game, and it's so awesome. I'm so hyped that it's a full-fledged helmet that I can actually put on and wear. I am gonna go outside in this, and everyone's gonna look at me weird. Cheat code? Play with cheat codes through mission select does not disable progression. Ah, I wonder what cheat codes they have. Games don't have cheat codes anymore. I do not have the means to locate the second hell priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. Hmm. We will need a replacement. <clears throat> I've completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. Nice. So this is the thing that I use on enemies. We'll see. We're, it'll do a training. So, just the same way that when you when you hit people with a chainsaw, you get ammo. When you do a finishing move, you get health. When you use the flame belch, you get armor. So, there's a lot <laughs> to take in. Um, and I'm gonna accidentally use this a lot. So, you get a lot of armor by doing that. If you hit them afterwards again. I'm gonna do that a lot by accident, because I'm a person who, when I play first-person shooters, I'm always clicking R to make sure that I'm reloaded. I over-reload and everything, so you're gonna see me flame mid-air half the time. <laughs> Wait, it says it recharges, though? Okay, so it's on a cooldown. Got it. Uh, Sentinel Crystal Tutorial. This is the Sentinel Crystal Selection Screen. Use a Sentinel Crystal to permanently upgrade your health armor. Um, what should I get? Um, quick draw belch, loot magnet, napalm belch, belch armor boost. I love- I just love the word belch. As long as you're at max health, all health pickups contribute to blood punch. Okay, armor for blood. As long as you're at max armor, all armor pickups. Flame belch takes less time to cool down. 
Okay, so this gives me more armor, this gives me more health. Okay, when selecting an upgrade, this section shows your currently upgraded capacities for health, armor, and ammo, and how selected upgrade. Okay. Unlocking two linked upgrades also gives you a bonus upgrade. Ah, so the middle one. Okay, so I kind of want more health. I think that's always good. Just to... Eat shit! <laughs> Not to slow things down. The portal is activated and ready when you are. Thank you, Vega. He sounds like Pathfinder in Apex. Who is ready to ride on a zipline? I am! Man, this is so cool looking! And through the Stargate. I also love those uh, particle effects that come off things. Like the sushi. It's like... Um, old tech demos that you used to always see about how particle effects would interact with stuff. Hey, this is where I started my playthrough when you guys saw my video. It's so badass! I love it. These stained glass windows. I thought I could break them. Is that me? My Doomslayer? Is that me on top? Should be. Oh. <laughs> Just walk straight off and die. Hoi! Dougie! Those particle effects, it's so cool! How you lads? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> well, nah, I'm not. Fuck yeah, that type of traversal. It's only starting. We're gonna see a lot more of that soon. <coughs> Alright, what do we have? Exultia! Uh, what treachery comes from our darkest selves? Driven by greed and want, for I have been deceived by the- <laughs> I'm gonna say the dag. Cause it sounds like how some Irish accents would say dog. Look at the dag! <laughs> they came north with I, the priests, as allies to our cause against the con maker and her unscrupulous methods. Their silvery tongues wagging. They- ugh. They laid a plan for us and sowed the seed of desire for hasty triumph. They claimed knowledge of the maker source of power in the demon realm, a vast foundry of souls where the innocent are put to the fire for the essence. God, it's so many wordage. In the foundry's destruction, our victory is assured. They told us, and the fools that we were, that I am, believe their lies. On their word, we sent the Doomslayer and the Night Sentinels to destroy the foundry, and the priests cast a gate for their egress. <clears throat> As the last veteran entered the demon's empire, our final hope of reclaiming our dominion, the dag closed the path and left them stranded. They were trapped, lost in the eternal void by the action of the traitors. How could I not see their intention? Am I blinded by grief for the loss of the Taras Nabad of my people? We have fled again with barely a legion of the night sentinels left to protect us. The dag are gone. <laughs> Return to their mistress. May the wraiths forgive my failure. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm sure things will pick up later on. Hi! It's me! Doom's there! Have you heard about- Oh, he's dead. Woohoo! Ah, damn, I missed him. What? Ooh, right in your skull bone. Haha! <laughs> Oh, I can't get up to you though. Oh man. I, I was too eager. I was too early. Right in your eyeball. <laughs> I got an achievement that says, damn it, they keep breaking. <laughs> oh, so close. Come back. Where are you going? I didn't even get to kill him! That is unfair! Oh, these guys suck. But I suck harder! God, the music is awesome! Eat shit! Hello? What have we got behind this wall? Will it a secret? Hi, Dag! 
I know you're not the same one, but I'm just gonna pretend that you are. Ooh, the Infinity Gauntlet. Is this where we get Blood Punch? Yes! This is a, an extra strong punch. I get a bar that builds up as I'm doing damage, and then later on, when I punch with it, it do that. What that blood punch do though? Is my is my bar full? Wait, where is my bar? There you go. <laughs> oh, it's above my health and armor. Has like one punch. One punch! Ooh, how do we get in there? Ow! Fuckers! I'll kill you! Literally! I want to get the one up though. How do I get around? Whoa! I just went through it anyway. I saved you guys! I'm a hero! I saved you from going through that place on your own. Wait, is there a place that I can get up? An idiot. <laughs> I want to get the one up. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Satisfying. Ah! Runes enhance your abilities or enable new abilities. Oh yeah. Uh, perform glory kills faster. Launch into a glory kill from much further away. This one is helpful. Actually, they're all helpful. Gain a speed boost after performing a glory kill. Greatly increase movement control while in the air. That comes in useful very much later when I get my boost. Increase how long- Ah, there's the one. Get that one first. It increases how long they stay in that staggered state. So even if I don't get the glory kill on them, I'll still have a, a room of- a window to keep them down while I fight other guys. Uh, and then I can equip that there. Cool. Thank you! Can I... I want the one-up. Where's the one-up? I want it! I think I might have missed my opportunity for it. Oh well. What's going on down here? I need ammo! Thank you. Appreciate it. You're a hero. People will remember this day forever. Probably not. <laughs> like clockwork, lads! Did I? No. Woo! I love these. What's this? A secret? Don't mind if I already did. Oh god! Jesus! I did not see you! Fucker! Okay, come over this. <laughs> nice! Off with his head! Okay, I don't want to go there through there yet. Okay, I don't need health. I should be getting armor. Alright. We might have missed the one up, but it's not it's not that big a deal. I'm not here to be a completionist. I'm just here to be. I want a chainsaw. I don't know if you know this, I'm low on ammo. So that's inconvenient for you. <laughs> Give me that septic eye, bitch! Okay, there should be a jumpy lad somewhere. Think, or maybe he shows up after. If you're wondering how I know, it's because that video I did played a lot of this section already. I mean, you know, you've seen the video, of course you have, because you're a huge Jacksepticeye fan. Gulpy, gulpy, open wide. Okay, that didn't work. Nice! Look at all that armor for a lad! <laughs> what up? What up? You wanna- 
Do you want to fucking go? Oh, I guess he did. I'm gonna use my other gun for a while. I feel bad that I'm not using it. The shotgun is the best. You don't need other things when you have a shotgun. In all life. Uh, complete all the encounters in a mission to earn weapon points. The demonic corruption meter tracks the points you've earned. Each mission has 10 weapon points total. Okay. Oh. Wait, I don't get it. Spend weapon points in the arsenal tab in the dossier. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can upgrade these. Love that. Love that for me. Um... What else can I get? Okay, I don't have anything on this yet, so... Ooh, I should get a precision bolt instead of... I should turn this into a sniper rather than micro-missiles. Because I have explosives on this, but I need something that's precise, because all the enemies have weak points, so I need to be like... Bruh! You know? <coughs> uh, sticky bomb reload speed is increased. Sticky bomb explosion size. Ooh. Yeah, I'll use that. Purchase all weapon upgrades to unlock access to a weapon mastery. Launch five sticky bombs before having to reload the mod? <gasps> I do say so. I do declare. Can I- Whoop! No. Armor! Woo! And ammo, and fuel, and health. All of it! Give me all! Thank you! All right. Oh, there's a there's a bonus thingy over here. I can't get to that yet. I don't have my boost. I had my boost when I played this section before. Why do I not got it now? Wait. I have to go there, don't I? Ah. That was a blood punch. Oh, look at you all alone. Flip. <laughs> kind of feel bad. Wow. This is so awesome looking. It kind of looks like it looks like Greek, Greek architecture. Hello. Can I shoot these? Or are they just not a thing? <laughs> Maybe I get my boost over here. I think I do, actually. Because I remember being able to access that already. The wolf. Argenta legends speak of sentinel beasts, loyal creatures that lived as companions of the hardened warriors, often larger, swifter, and stronger than others of their kind. These animals shared instincts with their masters and aided them in battle. The night sentinels never shared publicly the origin of these creatures, for only they stood worthy of them. That's my stand. Just like in Jojo. I don't know what the stands in Jojo actually are, and I realize that I'm probably using all of that terminology wrong. All right. Woo! Ah, come on. <laughs> Let me up. There you go. Thank you. Boosh! Come on, go faster. Whee! God, now I have to sit here and wait. The Doom Slayer doesn't wait. He rushes into battle! Ooh, History of the Sentinels Part 1. In the days before man first spoke, an immense shard of rock and metal was cast onto the world from the heavens. Thunder and cataclysm shook the land as the skies were torn asunder. The cosmic spear cleft a hole through our mortal lands, pole to pole, from the cold wastes of the umbral plains to the fetid swamps of Iron Fang. The womb of the world opened and the elemental wraiths, the firstborn, spilled forth. They took to the skies, fierce in their emancipation. In their exultation, they brought vitality to the land, and all that felt their breath were awakened from eternal slumber. Fierce beasts and an unforgiving biosphere rose in the passing of their shadow as the wraith call echoed across Argent Dnur. 
It is very Norse sounding. First came the ancestrals, feral creatures invigorated by the magic of the wraiths. They grew to enormous heights. Mighty behemoths who waged war from each other for years untold. Their battles tore the land asunder they, and destroyed all creation caught in their wake. The Wraith Call continued to spread across the land and soon the Argenta or Argenta? Emerged from the steps. Our souls stirred into the form by the power of their breath. Uh, the Titans towered over the wild blooded tribes but found them uncowed. <laughs> so, this is like someone looked up a thesaurus and was like, how many cool words can I put in here? The secret of the sword was discovered and in the darkness of sveltering mountain forges we beat steel until it was strong enough to pierce bone and sever flesh. Is that the crucible? Because uh, there's a sword in the trailer and I think that that's what the crucible is from the previous game. Thus we came to be born of rock and fire, lonely in birth but risen by the strength of our will. By the blessedness of the first ones, we forged sword and shield and took the hammer to the ancestrals. We claim dominion of creation by right of blood and magic, and the time of man came to be. With the ancestral beasts driven back to their bleak valleys, we rose. We tilled the fertile land, husbanded beasts of burden, and built towering cities. In the hallowed palace on the obsidian throne, we crowned King Ormero, the father, the first of the line that shall reign in perpetuity. We built the Cathedral of, of Reflection to worship the First Ones and form the Order of the Dag, whose priests pay tribute to the race and appease their tempestuous hunger. Our sons and daughters chose the path of the sword or the path of the alchemist, for each duty honors the gods. They should write a book about this. Have they, is there like a doom novel? I want to read that. Though our ways were righteous, we were not without strife. Storms and great quakes cast our spires down. Barbaric tribes laid siege to our fields in search of great gifts Mother Argenta had bestowed upon our world. And the song of the Wraith Call threatened to drive lesser men into madness. We were not lesser men. We defended that which the First Ones gifted us, our lands and right to the bounty held within. We beat back the barbarian hordes and hardened our resolve. We rose above the fire, our bodies and souls tempered, and an unbreakable will was shaped in the forge of battle. What emerged was the heart of our legion, the Order of the Night Sentinels. Fuck yeah. That's cool. The lore of this is awesome. Big boys do big battles. There we go. Now I have my dash. Where are we going, Dag? Oh, now it's about to really kick off. The traverse is about to get awesome. Thank you. I think I'm going back to where I was before anyway, so I can do that dashy area after. Fifty points to Gryffindor. You cannot. You know our laws. Despite their transgressions against the government, they are still of sentinel blood. What you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine. It is written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, you will bring down the heaven's wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. I wonder if he'll say something at all. Like when Master Chief first spoke, it was like, what? 
Uh, King Novik. King Novik ruled over Sentinel Prime for many years as its warrior patriarch, ordained protector of the sovereign Sentinel worlds. The Sentinel people, defined by a legacy of war, deemed only those of warrior ca caste befit to rule or caste. And in times of battle, it is expected that the king led from the battlefield or fled. The king led from the battlefield rather than from the safety of the throne. Ah, okay. Makes sense. As it is written in Sentinel Law, a king unfit for battle is likewise unfit to rule. That That's good. It is a thing. <laughs> I mean, modern culture is kind of like that. It's like, you should be prepared to go, not in, essentially into battle, like into actual war or anything like that, but you should be willing to stand up and take charge and take the fall and take responsibility and all those things that come with being a leader of a people, because that's, otherwise, why do you have the job if you can't do that? Uh, for millennia, the Sentinel people have secured their civilization against the threat of invasion from beast and human alike, passing on the mantle of battle to each subsequent generation and refining the craft of war into an art of ultimate mastery. Even in times of peace, the Night Sentinels remain vigilant, developing new technologies of conquest, each... Th each the more capable of securing their dominion across the sovereign worlds. It, I'm gonna say it again, it is very Norse feeling. I feel like they got a lot of uh, influence from Norse mythology for this stuff because that's what like Helheim is and going to Valhalla. You can only go into Valhalla if you are killed in battle. Uh, where was the other one that I went out through? I think it's actually back out another door. Okay, we have to fight in here first. I thought you were gonna jump. Now I can dash through this area. And get across this. Oh. This is, they put those guys in there as well to kind of give you like free health. Like these guys are to give you ammo and health and then the caca demons. Whoa, there's a second one. Because the caca demons are so easy to kill like that. Wait, was there a second one? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Got him. That's why you love the sticky bombs. They're so useful for everything. Oh god. You got fucked. Oh, I got a weapon point. Hell yeah. Uh can I do anything with it? I have four weapon points. I need oh, I need six for this. I don't really want to I guess I have to do the full auto if I want to get this. Quick recovery, full auto mode recovery speed is increased by 50%. Full auto mode transform speed is increased by 50%. Movement speed and full auto mode increase. Ooh, that's pretty good. Because I'm not a fan of the the full auto shotty anyway. Uh, I want to go back through that one. But if it helps me get, like, a speed increase, then I'm all for it. Yeah, this one. Okay, I need to go from that other platform. I don't have a boost. Okay, I was relying too much on my boost to get there. Thank god that does not get rid of my 1-up. Okay, I did this one in the other video that I did, where I was killing the caca demons really quick. Shit. I didn't do it. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it. Oh, baby! I did, but I'm gonna die. <laughs> Wait, secret encounter failed! You fucker! Man, I did that. You saw it. I had him kill, but the animation took too long. Oh man, I did it perfectly the first time I did this in my other video. Uh, what? Come on! Come on. 
I did it! Oh, I activate my extra life now. Fuck. I did it, but... He- he did a blood punch instead of actually taking him out because it took too long to trigger the animation. God, the animations are really fucking me up. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, I'll try again. Man, I'm annoyed with myself now. I did this first try when I did the video before. Oh! There we go. And there we go. So easy after all that. Wait, what do I get for finishing those? Is there anything back over here? No. Do I just get peace and love and joy? Oh god, what happened? I got stuck on something. Oh well, I did it anyway. I've proven myself. Should've done it first try though. I'm annoyed. This sentinel battery can be used to provide additional power to your ship. Thank you. Several modules. Needing more batteries will enable you to utilize the full function of your command station. Hell yeah, it will. Plasma rifle, baby! Uh, yeah, see, this is why I want the focus shot for that. Because that's going to come in real handy. Uh, shotgun, yes. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. There we go. Oh, I only got one. There we go. There's two. Whoa! I fucking melted him! Bye! I should be using that to get ammo, actually. Thank you! Thank you very much, Lee! I want the shotgun again. Oh, big boy. Big Bertha. Nice. Close your mouth, you're gonna catch flies. I would like ammo, please. And shields. Who else is left? Who else wants to go? I think these just take you out the other side, yeah. Sort of like a Pac-Man type of thing. If you know what I mean. Oh, look at all this stuff down here that I wasn't getting, man. Pfft, stinky. I need to explode this. Ah! Not today. Not today. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going, okay? And I'm not having it. Ah, shit! <laughs> okay, I'll have it a little bit. Just a small bit. Not too much, though. Alright. Can I use this on this? Yes, I can. I do like that, that it like turns certain weapons into other types of weapons. Fuck yeah. Like, there it turns a, a machine gun into a sniper rifle. Nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and clear a path. Nice. So it's not like you get a sniper rifle later, it just converts some weapons into other weapons. That's really cool. <clears throat> I am Iron Man. Hell yeah. I feel like I could have punched that myself. I feel like I'm pretty strong. Ooh. Can I punch this? Wait, there's something under that. Hello? Ooh. Now I want to know. I don't know. <laughs> 
This place is kind of scary looking, guys. Like, there's shit everywhere. It's, it's ugly. I don't like it. History of the Sentinels Part 2. And the- I like reading these, uh, so you're gonna have to let me know if you guys enjoy hearing them as well, or if you'd just rather see unfiltered, like, raw gameplay. Uh, but I like the lore of what's going on here. Uh, in the time of grief, when King Etrix took the throne, a blessing came to the people of Argenta. White porcelain beings from a world above our own brought gifts to Denur, observers to our great deeds, admirers of our convictions. They sought to make bond with our swords and bring lasting order to our world. These were beings unlike any we had seen before. Sword and shield held no weight against them, for the ethereal flesh of these luminous beings seemed unbound by mortality, able to move through time and space. They held sway, sway over all dominions of the known and unknown dimensions. Though their ways we grew strong, through their ways we grew stronger, our society bolstered by their infinite wisdom and all-knowing power, assuring our people's safety for all time. In this world and the next, where we sharpened the blade and mastered our magic, I studied the blade. Uh, they bolstered the, sto the soul and spirit. Death would no longer be the end for our people. The ones we call the Makers, our new allies in this brutal world, have given us the security in death we fought so hard to achieve in life. We would find eternal peace and our minds would rest easy with the knowledge that those we fought alongside in the battle would join us in the lands beyond the mortal plane. The strength of our ways, the purity of our essence, would be maker law, grant us passage to the great city in the clouds. There, our women and children, warriors and kin alike, would welcome us. We adopted the holy doctrines of the makers, gifted in exchange with the chance to earn eternal rest for our immortal souls in blessed Urdak. The covenant we held now under the embrace of our new gods fostered a peace we had never known, for they were unlike the first ones, whose presence offered no paradise from fear and the uncertainty of existence in a harsh and unforgiving world. The Maker's embrace was warm and guided us into an era of spiritual prosperity. Wow. Okay, so the reload time on this I need to increase. Actually, can I? Now that I have it... Precision bolt speed is increased. Precision bolt reload speed increased by 20%. Okay, I need one more for that. I will get that next. Time to open the big hellish gate! Ah, oh, shit! Oof. Your boost is limited. So, in the bottom left, above my health and armor, you see the blood punch, and then you see the two boosts. And I keep forgetting that I can't just do it after I leap off something. It doesn't recharge that fast. Open the gate! The Doomslayer cometh! That's me. No. Fuck yes! Hello! Can I kill you from here? Actually, let's... Let's try. You have a weak point on you. Ow! Don't hide! You have a weak point as well. Haha! <laughs> Fuck. Sit still, will you? Got him. Got him. <laughs> I blew his head off. Where did the other guy go? There he is. Damn! Sniper rifle's fucking strong! Oh, Jesus! Oh, -hoo! I singed me arse! Oh, he exploded. Fuck. Woo, oh, baby! Oh, it's fucking- it's my fucking birthday, boys! Thanks for coming out! I need to get the fuck out of dodge. Regroup or <laughs> back off, jack off, and regroup. Right up your arse! Right up Main Street! This 
music. It's giving me life! Where is he? That works. Oh. This is so much fucking fun! Angel owner! Can you guys fuck off? Shitheads? Shit, I missed them. Or did I? No, I did! Hell yeah! Oh, you cooked the shock. I fucking love these sticky bombs, man. Sticky bombs! <laughs> Got him! Is that it? Nope. Now it is. Weapon point acquired. Okay, let's go in here and do this. Uh, yeah. Nice. Let's see how fast it reloads now. Not a huge amount faster, but good enough. Oh, ammo though. Oh, there's some over here. Collect everything. The bad men are gone. Whoa, that's straight up crotch. Okay, I tried to switch. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm switching to the same gun. I thought a shotgun was on the right. Whoa! Whoa! Fuckers! Fuckers! Her! Thank you! Uh, when I played the, the other version of the game, the early one, I turned this into like a an electric gun. I don't know if I want to do that again. I don't know if it was great. Didn't feel that helpful to me. Okay, so these are the things that I need. There you go. Whoa, what happened? What happened? Ah! He didn't climb! What the fuck? There you go. Oh man! <laughs> he didn't climb! He fell to his death! Kind of a waste, but whatever. From downtown! He throws up a brick! <laughs> I see you! Thank you! All of that ammo just for me? You should have. Oh yeah, I can just equip them at 1, 2, and 3 as well. Oh, I should get used to that. Here we go. Wait, anything up here? This is so cool. Stick him! Stick him! Yeah! Beat! Doesn't hurt me though. Ew. Ew. You deserve it. Coming down here trying to turn Earth into hell. It's already hell down here sometimes. We don't need more. No Tanticles for me. I don't want it. Heck! <laughs> Bye. Oh, we got some bitches over here? I didn't know we got some bitches. I'll deal with them anyway. Oh, yeah. 
Yes! All that armor for a good boy. Who's left? Hello? Oh. Got him. Hey, is there more? Pickers! Can you just die and not be a problem for me? Oh, <laughs> that flick. Tell me, do you like eating shit? Because that's what that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, I didn't need to do that. Boosh! Uh, boosh! Get your fucking heads. I, I should have been chainsawing them. I need the ammo. Ooh, there's ammo right here. I can't jump! I can't boost! I'm all covered in goops. Some slimy soups. You want goops? You want slimy soups? I got them. Alrighty. Huh. Nice. A battery! Oh, look at that. Ew. Oh, stick it. Ew. Stinky blinky. So many stinkies everywhere in this game. Now see, this is what I need. I need one of these. None of this shitty, like, arm cannon thing, which I keep forgetting I have and not using grenades. I need that! Everybody needs that. That's a powerful, powerful thing. Oh god. Oh god. That almost didn't work out. I lost momentum because I got caught in something. I fucking- I knew it! I didn't turn fast enough anyway. Um... Yeah. Nice. It said if I chain stuff together it'll be better as well anyway, so let's do that. Any more tentacles? Oh, tentacles? No. You heard who was coming. You got scared. I get it. Not only am I a badass, but I look good doing it as well. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fuck you up from the distance. Got it. I don't care about your left or right brain, alright? I'm gonna fuck you up all the same. Oh! <laughs> from downtown, baby! Fuck all of you. Especially. And especially you. Ooh, bye. You know, I think you're probably immune to fire, right? What kind of a hell demon would you- It's like humans not being immune to water. Ooh, History of the Sentinels, part three. Uh, with machine and enchantment of the makers, the Argenta brought our newfound clarity to the desperate realms of the Empyrean Void. We took flight with the support of our gods, spreading the enlightened word of the Khan Maker. We discovered there was not one enemy, but many. Worlds and peoples unknown to the Argenta were unveiled, and we saw our own suffering reflected in their eyes. Our righteous army strode into battle under the banner of the Night Sentinels and fought for the freedom of all peoples, from the grasp of those who would exploit and prey upon them. Though we battled on soil not our own, the blood we shed in foreign lands safeguarded Argent Dnur and the sons and daughters that defended it. Through the strange peoples we liberated, new alliances were formed and our beliefs became their own. Our army swelled as the Argenta traversed the stars with gleaming war fleets. The Khan of the Makers approached King Rohan on his throne. He sensed his god restless by her disquiet manner. The king and Khan spoke, and the god revealed she had foreseen a schism 
in the blood of the Argenta. A test would be required to identify its host among us. She spoke of a holy rite to be performed on the strongest of our warriors. Only those that proved worthy would be tested, for the impurity could reside in only the most resilient of our legion. The Divinity Machine, a great tribute to Maker Scolaris, would help us to cleanse any impurities from our flock, ensuring our continued prosperity in this world and in the Maker Realm that awaited in the afterlife. The Malicious One, if not exhumed from our ranks, would jeopardize our safe passage to the Heavenly Realm of Urdak. The Dark One was not amongst them yet, nor would he be for many generations. Only the Mother of God, through divination and Maker's sight, would determine when he stood before them. The Maker's were truth, and only their unclouded eyes could find the one who was marked. The prophecy of the unholy was one written, but through the ages the, warn the warning grew faint until the on only the Khan Maker herself and the high priest of the order, Dag, still whispered of he that would be- that would one day come to threaten their way of life. Is that me? Hello? Am I- am I the thing to threaten their way of light? Because it doesn't seem like they're all that great themselves, you know? They kind of seem like assholes, honestly. Oops. My, th my boosts were not ready yet. Thank you for coming closer. I really- Ah, oh, God! Fuck! What a dick! God damn it! He kept fucking hitting me! I have one health. Fucker! He kept hitting me so I couldn't get back onto the platform. I mean, I know that that's what they do. Why did he not swallow that? Come on, this is bullshit. Fucker! I didn't want to lose my extra life there. I want to lose it in like boss fights or something. Stinky. Damn it, man. Oh, this is a, a slayer gate. I don't have the key for that yet. You can go in and do special little arena rounds. Okay, I'm coming over because I have a chainsaw that has your name written all over it, fella. Okay. You make me look bad here, dude. Shit. Wait. What's through here? Right, this is where I have to go, not back up there. Uh, figuring out my my boosts and what resources I have of them left and everything signal is nearby. Is something that I still have to get used to. I need to get used to the timing of everything. Whee. There are motion sensors and artillery everywhere. Hmm. Don't shoot me! I want his hammer. I told you all to leave me here. I am where I belong. Saving your people will not bring you peace. Only make the burden you carry worse. I still think this dude is voiced by TC Carson, who does the original Kratos. But I'm not sure. And now you seek to defy the con maker herself. It is your people's time now to give penance. Just as it was mine. Give me this snitch. Get out of here, Stinky. Hear me, Slayer. When his heart is laid to rest, then his soul will be at peace. And so will mine. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. You got any secrets in here, dude? Anything that I can have? Doesn't seem like it. You do have a giant-ass mech, though, which is pretty cool. I would like that. 
the Betrayer. After years of prolonged war against the demonic threat invading their world, Arjun Dunur launched an offensive strike across dimensions, sending their greatest warriors into the heart of hell itself. Despite their training and their preparedness, their honor was undone by deceit. Betrayal at the highest levels of command left Arjun Dunur. Arjun Dunur's bravest warriors cut off and scattered in the hellscape. But of these last remaining night sentinels, only one remained in hell by choice. Betrayer of the Argenta. It was Commander Valen who relinquished the keys to the elemental sepulcher in return for his son's resurrection. Haunted by demonic visions, uh, the image of his son's tortured existence plagued him without relent. The whispers of demons pushing him toward madness. In a moment of weakness, he fell prey to the demon's trickery, stealing the fate of Arjun Dunur and dooming the kingdom to which he swore a lifelong oath to protect. Fallen chose exile in the hellscape for his sacrilege. Sacrilege! Fair play to you, lad. Respect. Whoop. Whoops. <laughs> I'm a little burned. The extraction point has been identified. I will mark its location on your HUD. Thank you. Ooh. Fuck yeah. I fucked it up! Oh, I don't even need that one. Wait, where the fuck do I go next? <laughs> I've already done this and now I, I can't remember. Um... Oh. Wait a sec. Oh. Across and around and up and down. My Jesus, lads. So we're all over the shop, huh? I fucked it up again. But I saved it. Because I'm a legend! Come on out, boys! Who wants to fight? Who wants to go? Who wants to tussle with the Irish muscle? You? Oh. I fucked your thing up already. Up as well. Everybody just stand around. Oh god, so many. I need it! Thank you! I also have these bombs that I'm not using. I need it! I also need to get some armor. Oh god, there's a lot of them in here. Oh, mercy! I knew it was a party, but I didn't know you invited all my friends. Christ! I would have settled with just my very best friends. Ah! Fucker! Hoosh! Oh, I'm out of ammo, I think. I need to be careful. How did I just get? Uh, okay, I need. Fuck. You should be almost dead. Yep. I need health. Oh, did that power me up for a certain period of time? I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, shut your fucking mouth, will you? are on fucking point today. Give me that head, bitch. <sighs> Intense focus. Nice. I need armor. <laughs> Thanks. Whew. Oh, that's not it. No, 
Oh, what a way to end it. Woo! That was good. That felt fucking fun. Oh, God. I have a lot of weapon points. Can I get anything? Oh, no, I don't. I have two. Oh, I have six out of ten to get a new weapon point. Oh. I think. Is that it? Sure is. Whoo, baby. Six out of ten on the- oh, right. Six out of ten on the weapon points that I could have gotten, and eleven out of fifteen on the exploration. Oh, because I didn't go through the Slayer Gate, and there was a secret combat encounter. Oh, okay. Again, I'm not here to complete absolutely everything. And the Empyrean Key I didn't get. I think I got it the first time I played this. Damn. I can go back and get them anyway. At a later date. You can now find the remaining hell creature. Awesome. The second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. Sweet. The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Neato! Okay, I am going to leave this first episode of Doom Eternal here. This game is absolutely amazing. I haven't seen any completely new stuff yet. This is all still kind of stuff that I've played before. Some of it is a little different, um, which is good, but I there's still so much more game to play and see that I haven't yet, and I'm very, very excited about that. I'm going to blow up my entire ship. Uh, this game is absolutely amazing. It flows well. The combat scenarios are really good. The way it's set up, the way the encounters actually happen are very puzzle-like and very sandboxy, and I love that. Um, it keeps you, like, motivated, it keeps your heart pumping, it keeps the tension high, it keeps the game moving. You never just stand in one place and just shoot one thing with one weapon, one way. It never gets too repetitive. And even and in the repetition comes learning and mastery, which is just so good. Um, so in that regard, the gameplay is some of the best first-person shooter gameplay I have ever played in my entire life. Uh, and then the sound design and the music and everything is just ah, it's the icing on the cake. Visuals are fucking awesome. The art style is phenomenal. This is just a really, really damn good video game. And I hope it keeps up this level of quality throughout the whole thing. Um, but I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, I, I'll hopefully be doing an entire playthrough of this game. So if you want to see it, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe and ring bells and all that so you're notified whenever a new episode of this goes up. I'll hopefully be uploading it every day. Um, we'll see what happens. But I'm just really excited to be playing this because I've been itching ever since I got that hands-on demo with it. No other first-person shooter has come close to this sort of visceral fun, bouncy, all over the place kind of gameplay, and I, I just love this, so I'm very excited to play more of it, and I'll see you guys in the next one! <laughs>